Welcome to this tutorial on templates. I had a request to do one just on showing you how to change lyrics in a template, not necessarily backgrounds or graphics. And so let's try that and see where we can go with that. In order to make a template, again, we go to the top. We go to the template icon in the toolbar and click on it. And now I'm going to go to new template group. I have a group here. I'll rename it. Let's call this uh, Friday for fun since I'm recording this on a Friday. Okay, now I have a slide where I can pick and select what I want to do. Um, let's say I want a certain kind of font, a certain kind of uh, location on the screen for this template. What I'm going to do then is I will click on the double click to edit box, get in my text. I will go to my font uh, tab, second from the gear, and let's pick a different kind of font here that we want to use for ours. Let's try um, going with, oh, this hobo just for fun. And then I'll change the size of the font. Maybe I want it to be uh, 85. And let's say, let's pick a an outline. I know it's a black background, so it's hard to see, but I'm going to increase the shade around it a little bit. We're going to say maybe we want this to be a kind of left center option here. So the lyrics would could be in the upper, kind of upper left uh, quadrant of the screen. So we'll assume we might have graphics on the right or graphics on the bottom. And we want it to be um, center text. And uh, we want to focus on the top. So we'll start typing lyrics and it will move down. And uh, that takes care of that particular one. Let's try another one. I'll click the plus. And we'll click on the second one. Now let's make another one for fun. Uh, I'll go in the edit mode again. And let's say um, this one I want to be uh, this Berlin Sands font. Again, we'll move it up a little bit. Make sure it's big enough. We'll go to maybe um, 77. We'll make it bold. Uh, maybe not bold. That's a little too big. Um, keep the same. Maybe we'll change the color. Let's instead of do a white, we'll do uh, um, maybe something in the or maybe gold range here, white yellowish. We'll do that. Okay, we'll increase the outline again to two or three, show a little more contrast. Close my color picker. And maybe this one will be one that will be on the right side. We'll change the handlebars here in the text window. And um, Okay, um, maybe I don't want to make sure it doesn't go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top. I want to force it to start up high so we put text and it'll come down low. <clears throat> and I could call that anything I want. Now I have that, that one done. I want to, instead of one and two, let's give these names. I'll right click on this one, give a template label. I'll go to other. And I'm not going to save what I call it, but I will call it... Um, yellow right okay and I'll do okay and let's click on the other one and we will right click label other again I'm not going to save what I call it we will call it um, white upper left click on okay and now I have two different templates I can use. I could add more to this, or I could create a different template group. I'm going to click on the X and close that. Now let's try to apply that. I'm going to click on this uh, slide here. We see the preview window. I will change my template. I'm going to go to my Friday template group. And I'll go white upper left. OK, and I click here again. And there's what I have. Let me try the other one I just created. Let me go to the templates again. Go to my Friday group, yellow right. Okay, and click on it. So I get in the preview window. There's my yellow right. So it looks like if I'm going to 
use either one of these and I want something with this much text on it, I'm going to have to make it smaller. I'll show you how to edit it. We'll go back to our template, go to my Friday uh, group, and do edit template group. Okay, let me click on the white, white one here. Okay, I will click on it. Let's change the font size back to maybe 67. And then I just close it and I just saved it. So if I want to go ahead and apply that one as edited, I'll go back to my Friday group, go white upper left, and then click on it here. And there I have it. And again, you can control the spacing between the lines in the template, the font style, size and style. Let me go ahead and put an image behind this just to see what it looks like. I'll click on my video images and drag sunset on here and see how that looks. And there I have an example. So that gives me another option of what I might put on there. And let me try this with the other template group. Let's click on the... Uh, Friday again, we'll go to my yellow right, apply that, click on it. And again, if I want a font this big and this many words on the line, I probably need to adjust my template, which is pretty simple. We'll go to template, Friday, edit template group. There we go. Now I go yellow right. Click on the font. Okay, it's 77. Uh, maybe I need to go down even a little more. And we'll go to 69 and we'll save it. Now we'll apply it again. Template, Friday, yellow right. And now it makes it smaller. Almost small enough for this, but most likely I won't have all these words on a single line. Then that's where you get into your editor to change that. But this gives you a simple way to enjoy creating, modifying, and applying templates just for the lyrics in ProPresenter version 6. We hope you found this tutorial helpful as you learn more about ProPresenter 6 in relationship to making templates, especially for lyrics. If you found this useful, we'd like to ask you to like us and to subscribe to our channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.